Welcome back everybody. Just wanted to do a quick video here on Facebook to sort of explain something. I think a lot of folks took the wrong way yesterday. Uh, so I made a video about a gentleman cutting the barrel of his AR-15 um, and he did that to protest uh, basically Americans having their Second Amendment rights and in doing so he created an illegal SBR. He did it on camera. There was video evidence of him committing a felony and the video has been seen by millions of people at this point and I called for his arrest. Now the reason I did that is not because I care about NFA laws at all. In fact I think the NFA is unconstitutional. I think all gun laws are unconstitutional at least as they're currently written today. So I do not support anything in terms of NFA laws bump stocks, short barrel rifles being registered, any of that crap. But what I do support is the consistent application of law. So just a quick sort of example, right? So say I did a video and I was protesting the NFA. And in video, I assembled or created a short barrel rifle illegally without a tax stamp, right? Let's say I did that with my audience that I have here. That video would go viral, I'm sure. and. In doing so, in the video going viral, ATF agents would see it, FBI agents would see it, different uh, agency folks would see it, and they'd be knocking on my door and I would be arrested. There's zero doubt in my mind about that, that that would happen. Now, this gentleman is doing so, and of course he's supporting a, what would be considered a leftist agenda, and probably nothing's gonna happen to him. And why? Because there's an inconsistent enforcement of the laws in this country. It's just the way it is. So another good example that everyone can see, it's purely political, is the way classified uh, data is treated, right? So like uh, a year or two ago, a, a Navy kid took a picture, I think it was on a submarine which has classified material on it, took a selfie of it. Uh, that guy's doing jail right now. Um, there was no malice intent behind it. However, when you look at like Huma Abedin and Hillary Clinton, they were clearly in possession of classified information on non-secure servers, non-secure SCIFs and such like that. So they were not prosecuted, right? So there's an inconsistent application of the law, inconsistent prosecution of people who violate the law knowingly and wantonly, right? So this gentleman may not have intended to create an illegal SBR, but if I did the same thing, protesting the NFA rather than what he's doing, protesting the Second Amendment, guaranteed I would be arrested. So if I would be arrested for doing so, my point is he should be arrested for doing so, uh, regardless of what his political leanings are or what point he's trying to make. So that's pretty much it, guys. That's it. I just want to explain it because I've gotten hundreds of messages in my inbox about people saying that I'm you know, pro-NFA and stuff like that. That's absolutely not true. I'm just calling for the uh, consistent application of the law. So that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for following on Facebook. We'll see you in the next video.